If you want to know how have I created this shake effect, then you make sure you watch this video till the end. The software which I have been using for making this is Mubavi software. So let's begin the tutorial. I'm on my Mubavi home screen. First thing is I'll have to take the respective clip. So for that, I will I will select this clip. I'll just select the soundtrack and delete it. Now just enlarge it by the scale. So this moment I want my shake effect to appear and place your playhead here. Then go to these four icons at the bottom. Go to video editing option under all tool options, video editing option, enlarge it and go to animation option. In animation, there are two types of animation. One is easy, one is advanced. For us, we will go to advanced option and go to add animation. Once you add it, you will see these boxes. These are the guides. So I will go to this first keyframe. This is the keyframe which I should be working upon and I will bring each keyframe as close as possible. Now I will go to this keyframe and it will give me this dotted line around this and I will simply enlarge it a little bit and position it at the middle. Then I will go to the second keyframe and make the, make the frame little smaller and place it at a one corner. Okay. Next, I will just select this next, next, uh, next guideline. Here you can see these lines. So guidelines I will select and I will right click. I will go to animation and add keyframe. Likewise, I will get another keyframe and then I will make it little smaller. And you can see at the back the other keyframes so that you can refer them and you can keep your video, video accordingly. Now I will same way I will go to the next go to the next time slash and I will right click animate and add keyframe. Likewise, make the keyframe as close as possible to each other and keep making your video a little small or big and press position it in a right way so that it looks realistic. Like this, according to me, 10 such keyframe keyframes should be added. So I will pause it here and quickly fast forward it and then I will show you the next step. So I have created this pattern here and I have added almost 10 to 11 such keyframes. Now what I'll do is I will simply split it by right clicking this area and split till here. And then I will simply copy this or right click and clone this. And again I will clone this. So what will happen three times I will get the same actions repeated to make it little more realistic I'll have to make this I'll have to double click on this first click first clip and then go to this speed option and I will make it 350 to merge it in a in a better way with this shake effect and this one I will make 80 in order to give it a difference you know this well a layering in between these two speeds now for the first clip uh, by the way this speed effect you can also get from these three dots you can if you if you click on any any clip and go to these three dots this this one this option this also opens up the same clip pro properties option speed fade in and fade out now for this first clip which I have taken, I will give a special effect by going to this second option. And here I will see, uh, you see this broken lens option. This is one of the best effects which I use very often for making some special effect. So if you are using some effects so frequently like me, then you can have this uh, love sign clicked so that it appears in the favorite icon. Now I will simply drag and drop it here now if you don't like the intensity you can increase or decrease it for me around 20 works so let me keep it here around 20 and let's see how it looks same way i will leave the middle part apart and the third one i will for the third one i will apply this camera shake effect right so i will just bring bring it here you see this this red option red um, no assign option so unless and until it goes you 
will not leave it so you just drag and let this plus button appear and leave it here and then go to the star icon at the top left hand side corner of this clip in order to make the shake effect appear 100% okay so now one thing is left we know any video gets a better appeal if we add an audio track so i have taken these two these two punch clothes uh, and body punch audio track from youtube library i mostly use in order to avoid any copyright claim because i have seen taking from other website who claims to give copyright free video youtube does not allow and youtube alg algorithm detects them and gives ads copyright claim on it so to avoid such hassles i prefer to go for youtube library video uh, options which are video and audio options which are widely available if you have no issues with uh, such copyrights so you can get some sample audios and sounds here itself in the um you know in the in the uh, move away pack and if you don't like these what comes in before by default you can go for further downloads by coming here you can take the different different audio video and scenes from here free music as well so uh, for the time being i am using the tracks which i have uploaded uh, from file import option if you go to add file it gives you the access of all your files so you can simply drag and drop or open it in order to bring it to media bin once it is done i will go and give this here and i will just make it a pause here and then again i will bring it here and double click and then i will increase the speed to 350 so that it just well then i will right click and i will clone it and simply keep adding it to the next videos and this one i will copy or rather clone and i will drag it here and then i will make it like so so that it gives a kind of uh, rhythmic um you know rhythmic uh, sound so now let me unplane it and show you how after giving the sound effect it looks like so this is how the shake effect has turned out to be so it is as simple as that so make sure you try it out and let me know on which scene you have tried it and how it turned to be in the comment section below one small announcement backpay media is available on app for android users now the link will be given in the description please do download our app it's a very lightweight app and moving forward i would be doing different workshops and live batches if you're interested you can join there so thank you so very much i'll come back with some fun tutorial next week till then stay safe Still legendary.